what we do here with the LMR 240 cable is first we take a cutting tool. This is our CCT03 cutting tool. Place it over the cable, just like so. It's spring loaded. Take your finger, run it through there, and just spin the tool around the cable, just oh, like wow, so. Oh, that's so easy. It is. There's not really, you know, much technique involved, and that's by design. Uh, it's so important to cut the cable and leave the cable round to maintain impedance uniformity. And this tool does that for you. Kevin, so, what would technicians use instead of this tool in the field today? There's things out there called ca coaxial cable cutting pliers, but they're just basically modified linesman's pliers or diagonal pliers. And they, a lot of times they, they damage the cable. They crush the outer conductor of the cable. They maybe uh, burr the center conductor, bend the center conductor. All these things are detrimental to the performance of the, the cable, the finish RF interconnect. So this tool here does an awful lot for you. I see a lot of razor blades out in the field too. That's true, that's true. And uh, when you're using razor blades too, you need to use scales and vernier calipers and such. You know, so we're gonna demonstrate too the prep tool where you don't have to use, you don't have to do any measurement. Oh, wow. So we're gonna start off here, put a little bit of lubricant in the cable. We have what we call here these WSB boots, silicone molded boots. You just get it started and slide it back over the cable, like so. Once you get that, you just take your crimp ferrule, slide the crimp ferrule over the cable, and now we have your prep tool. This prep tool here is our CST-248 prep tool. We take side one, it's labeled side one and side two. Take side one, pop it into the tool like so. You press down on this thumb switch and you spin it around the cable. Now once that thing bottoms out, just make one extra spin. Leave it depressed and pull it. And now you've, you've taken that, exposed that center conductor and done it in such a way we didn't crush the outer conductor at all. Nice, clean, sharp cut. And you, as you may see, I know it may be a little difficult from that distance, but the center conductor is completely straight and burr free, which is what we want. We take the tool, we flip it around the side too. This is just like an old fashioned pencil sharpener. You just spin this tool and it's you know, very easy to do. And you'll feel it once it's done, just like that. It spins freely and you're all set to go. You've taken that jacket off without damaging or touching the braid whatsoever. Now this process holds true for the LMR product and for the TCA product. Very simple to prep these cables. You just take the braid wires, fold them back a little bit. You take your connector. We mentioned this is a non-solder connector. It's a beryllium copper spring finger. It's got a little chamfer on the cable entry. You just get it started. It's a nice snug fit. Just get it started and it's already, you can see, very snug fit onto the cable. Now you just push it and turn it. And what that do, that'll ride right up on that center conductor. And when you bring that ferrule up, you'll see the braid wires are right where you want them to be. No trimming. You know, FOD is a big issue on, on aircraft. So there's, you're not trimming, you don't have any conductive materials to worry about. So that saves a lot of time as well. It does, it does. It saves a lot of time and it's very consistent. You know, if you, in terms of VSWR, in terms of pull strength, you'll see very, very consistent numbers. You've, what we always try to do with, with these tools and with these connectors is reduce the variables that are involved in terminating these cables. So at this point, it just takes a 255 hex, and you want to crimp it right up at the back of the connector, as close as possible to the back of the connector. Just one crimp. You don't want to move that tool back and crimp again because you might, you're going to pinch the jacket, change the impedance. You don't want to do that. This lubricant dries so quickly. We'll put another drop here. Now there's ribs in the back of the connector, also on the TCA connectors. There's ribs molded into this boot. The ribs in, inside this boot will actually lock onto these ribs. And why do you need the boot? The boot is a strain relief. Okay. So strain relief is always important. You don't want to you know, make a real tight bend behind a connector. This boot also happens to be ice P67. It's tested for IP67, which is one meter for 30 minutes underwater. So it's a nice seal. I mean, really what it does is it takes the place of adhesive shrink boots. You can, you can achieve this with an adhe adhesive shrink boot, but there's a lot of technique involved. You know, do you, do you have enough heat? Do you, did you heat the connector up enough? Did you heat the cable up enough? Uh, did you, there's a possibility of overheating the cable, melting the polyethylene. So like I said, we're always looking to knock variables out of the process, make it simple, make it foolproof.